Hey, fella. Come here. What were you doing back at that radio shop? Miss Logan, let me see some identification. How about my army discharge? I got it right here. I tell you, Chuck, this guy's a genius the way he operates. As if he were right there with us every time we go out after a lead. You know any more about the Rawlins killer than you knew the first week? Yeah. He's about the toughest nut I've ever had to crack. Suspect is a white male American, age 26 or 7, 5 feet 10 or 11, 155 to 165 pounds. You say your name is Ralph Henderson. So what? Well, you know, it's a funny thing, Ralph. There's a guy around this town that's been wearing your fingerprints. In other words, the man who killed Rawlins and the man who shot at Jones and Brennan, the stick up who's blitzing the liquor stores, are all the same man. Right. All we need to know is what that man looks like. Look, Captain. Rawlins was a friend of mine. So is Chuck. I've got a bigger stake in this than the chief knows. Chuck's in pretty bad shape, Marty. He's paralyzed. May never walk again. I'm sure that Roy can explain everything. Uh, that microscope could only tell us who did it. I'm working on that. I suppose you think it's a good business letting me walk into that trap. I asked you to keep a sharp lookout on this house, Marty. I did. Two of the best undercover men of an apartment were assigned here. I didn't keep Martin from getting in. What's the matter? You tired? Why don't you tell us the truth? Marty! 